what's up my vena loves it's miss vena d coming to you all from vena Tim and news normally when i insert a clip in my videos i allow it to play and then talk at the end but this is not an instagram live okay this is from the actual radio station with latasha once again you know not taking accountability so what i will be doing is every time she responds and says something i would jump in and gave my commentary that way it will prevent this video from being blocked and prevent you know copyright infringement okay but if i just sit and allow the entire audio to play this video will absolutely be blocked and taken down okay so i apologize in advance for the jumping in and out because that's what's about to happen we're just hanging there with me First question is will you do another is there gonna be a part two of this reality show it's not gonna be part two for me mm. you're not no, I Candy doesn't want a part two, and the rest of the girls of SWV, they do not want a part two. If that means going through all of this stress with you, who want to do a part two with you? And of course, you do not want a season two because of how badly you and your husband got exposed. So it's understandable. But as far as Candy goes, listen, yes, Candy be chasing her money. Candy get to the bag, Burris, okay? However, if I can make money over here and not add the extra stress, because I already get that from the Real Housewives of Atlanta dealing with some of those ladies over there, why am I going to do that to myself? So, yeah, I don't see a season two happening. That check really have to be beyond amazing and some things will have to change before I see any of them agreeing to a season two. However, as it relates to reality TV, season one was a success because that's what reality TV is. The drama, the highs, the lows, and all of that. That's what the audience love. And as much as, yeah, my God, just drama, black women arguing again, we can't get along. I get all of that. But that right there for the producers, that's reality TV gold. So we shall see. I mean, when you come and you say two super groups are going to be celebrated and it does not end that way. Like you got everybody beefing on social media. The nerve of a black production company with Mona Me coming in and not celebrating black women. It's just tearing down. And the whole time out of seven women, I was being attacked every single day. Like I said at the beginning, I have to jump in to avoid this video from being blocked and taken down. I don't like when people don't take accountability. Don't get me wrong now. I'm aware of love and hip hop and all of that. I'm aware of Mona Scott Young. I'm aware of the editing and everything that happened. I talk about it all the time. But I'm not here for people who don't take accountability. Why is she behaving like she did absolutely nothing wrong and she was being attacked for no reasons? Your behavior is the reason why you got the treatment you got. Lying is the reason why you got the treatment you got. Allegedly, stealing from your family, your own sister, allegedly, is the reason why you got the treatment you got. Your husband inserting himself and doing certain things is the reason you are getting the treatment that you are getting, okay? Wearing a different look from your group on the red carpet you all know all of the drama i don't have to make this video an hour long by inserting everything but i've talked about it so you can go through the channel and find those videos but you are the reason why all of this happened to you so for you to just sit there and blame mona the producers and everybody else for the reason why you were being attacked come on now girl take some accountability for your actions and the reason why these things will continue to happen to you because you feel like you are right all the time so it's just that thing for me like when you say you're going to do something we should be able to do and i think the fans have been slighted you know and shame on her shame on the production for doing that we didn't get to it shame on you too latasha shame on you as well now this interview happened a little over a week or two weeks ago i was going to do my commentary on it but then i got busy so yes a little old but Thank you all for your love, support, and patience. I do not throw away my work, but I late than never. So let's continue. We didn't get to music. 
So what do we? What was the end goal? Like, what what are we doing here? Did you guys? Okay, did you guys film those scenes? Because you know, for me, I'm be honest. I have been approached for reality TV so many times, and I've always declined okay. because I know what it is. Yeah. Like I feel like. We kind of know when you do reality TV, they're going to show the worst of you and not the best of you. So yeah. when you went in, did, were you not thinking they were going to try to find mess because that's what reality TV is? Yeah, but we at the at the end of the day, we had already gone through the, the worst of the times with the first still kicking it. Okay. So we were getting past that. Did I have reservations? Of course I did. But when she started to say, hey, we're going to celebrate y'all. Y'all going to do a tour. We're going to talk about how you, you know, do a show, how you got to do the wardrobe and the music. I'm like, that's beautiful. Because sometimes you do have banter back and forth mm -hmm. with that. But when you come in and I'm being attacked every day and it never got to the music, it's like, what was this all about? Uh, and even when they tried to make it about the music, you complained the entire time and had issues with everything. So what are you talking about in the business meetings attitude i don't want to do this i want to do my own thing so what is she complaining about because even when it came to the music you complained and made life difficult for everybody and then of course your sister got sick and tired i'm no longer protecting this family when no one else protects me and she exposed you and that was that but you will never ever grow in life if you go through life thinking everyone is wrong and you are always right and you do not know how to take accountability for your actions. There will never ever be growth because no one is perfect and we all have our flaws and issues. And you grow when you can just take a breather and acknowledge your part that you play in the mess. That's the only time you're going to grow. This victim mentality and constantly blaming every single person for her poor choices and actions is her downfall. And not, none of the things that happened until we started filming. None of the craziness. Mm. So it's like, was it was a setup? What do we do this for? I like this run for you because it's all about you. Yeah. But the escape enemy still wants to know you're a part of escape. I'm definitely a part of escape. I created the name. I'm, I'm, that's the mothership. Mm. That's where mm. I come from. I will never forget where I come from. Mm. But it's time for me to do music. Okay. I've always wanted to do music. I know Candy didn't want to do music because she always felt like if we didn't surpass what we did in the beginning, then don't do it. But when I'm doing music, it's never predicated on sales. It's because mm. I'm passionate about what I do. Mm. So the other girls was like, no, we, you know, don't fall victim to what she's saying. I, I want to do music. So that's why I'm here. Mm. Okay. Natasha said, for all the people laughing at my album sales and all of that in my record sales and all of that, I did this because I'm passionate about it. It had nothing to do with the numbers and all of that. She made sure she threw that in there in this interview. Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down for copyrights reasons, but I've said everything that I had to say. I've also been covering the whole Escape and SWV show and situation for weeks. So I'm basically talked out <laughs> when it comes to Latasha and the hot mess and all of that. Hopefully she and her sister can eventually and will eventually figure it out. Tamika did her interview recently and she got emotional again. So I'm praying for healing for that family. For Latasha, learn to take accountability for your actions. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. You read and posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.